Hey guys, uh, this is this is Luke Perry here, and in this video, I am going to be teaching you how to make a your very own combination lock, which looks a bit like this. It's very very simple, and uh, here's one that I built outside the video with a secret lab behind this door here. And most combinations you can alter yourself, but this one is down, up, up, and there you go, the door opens. And here's my little secret lab. It's not much of a lab. So, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to make one of these yourself. And, well yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Right, so first... You need to get your materials that you need. You might need quite a lot of things for this, since as it's quite big. So you're gonna you're gonna need all these resources that I have here. You've got whatever you're gonna make your base out of: redstone, redstone torch, sticky piston, some stone, and an iron door. And firstly, what you do is you actually make your base. So you go. Five is the uh, best one to pick because cause it's a nice length. So you've got, and then you build up your wall here. Right, we'll just do this wall for the minute and then we'll build the rest of it. So what's going to happen, oh, and you need a lever, I forgot. So what you're going to do is you're going to place the levers in intervals along the wall. You can choose how many. And then back here is where the redstone's going to go on. So what you need is this one is going to be your power source. So what you need to do is you need to create a slight redstone circuit down here. Just fill this in. And um, it is quite complicated, but with practice you can make even bigger ones with more levers to make the combination harder. And... Uh, so what you do here is you need to make the other ones here that will power pistons, say for example. And uh, these will alter the combination in the actual lock. So what you do is you, join, you link these up to there like that so that when you pull these it turns on. And then what you do is you put your block of your uh, of any block of your choice on these and create the redstone going under the underneath a hole underneath the pistons so that when you pull the power source down that sends the electric current right the way through and ends up powering of your uh, item of your choice but when uh, you get the combination wrong, it stops the circuit and it cuts off the power without wrecking the redstone circuit. So this is a very good example and a basic example as well of a tutorial for a redstone lock which you can build yourself. And uh, it can get complicated, but hopefully for you it won't. Uh, I'll finish building this, and then I'll show you it in action. So what you do is, say you've got your code. So this one is exactly the same as the one that I've shown you over there, which is down, up, up, which is like this. Hopefully that should work. Or oh, is it the... So you need to put a repeater in, and then hopefully the door at the end will open. But if you pull one of these levers, it cuts the circuit and the door stops. So yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, well, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!